We have yet another story of corruption in our government. This case though, it involves both sides of the aisle. More than 300 house lawmakers were apparently reimbursed at least $5.2 million for food and lodging while an official business in Washington last year. There is this new taxpayer funded program that basically allows them to write off certain sorts of expenses, but importantly, does not require any documentation or receipts. It's an honor program. It's like it's on the honor like code or program for people who've shown that they have literally none. They're biologically incapable of acting honorably. So here's the rules. Lawmakers cannot be repaid for principal or interest on their mortgages. Does that need to be written? <laughs> they can only get reimbursement for days they're actually working or flying to DC. Bear in mind what qualifies as working for members of Congress is pretty loose anyway. And they can't ask for more back than their actual expenses. And we will return to that. That's the critical thing there. They're also subject to daily spending caps determined by the GSA. Members are strongly encouraged, encouraged, but not required to keep records of their expenses. Okay. So they they can only do it on days where they're actually working. And they can't request more than they paid, but they don't have to provide any resources <laughs> of when the money was spent or how much it cost. Seems like there's some loopholes there. The, the, no, it's not even fair to describe it as a loophole because a loophole implies a loop that has a hole in it. This is just a hole. <laughs> and I think it's 300 holes of various types in both the Democratic and Republican parties. Here's a couple examples. Matt Gates, the biggest spender, shockingly, was reimbursed nearly $30,000 for lodging and more than $10,000 for food in just 2023. He spent $30,000. He was reimbursed more than $4,000 for lodging in two different months, more than 3,000 in five different months. What sort of fancy pants place is this dude staying at? And what food is he eating was? Yeah, I mean, look, I'm somebody who, who uh, on a monthly basis, I wouldn't say I have a robust uh, <laughs> expense report, but it is what it is. However, I have to provide detailed, itemized receipts for every single expenditure mm -hmm. and they have to be work related. I have to prove that something work related was accomplished by the expenditure. You can't just say, "Oh, um, you know, I took an Uber to uh, you know, Sherman Oaks." Uh, and and I say like yeah you know it costs one hundred and fifty dollars and meanwhile you know I, I basically took an Uber pool and it cost me twelve <laughs> like you can't just do that right like you yeah. have to provide documentation that's the most egregious part of it to me the lack of like accountability here like that they could just make up whatever number they've spent and you know what for the meals I will say if Matt Gates has even half a heart maybe he's taking his staff out to nice meals you know to talk shop and get things done for the American taxpayer. Yeah, <laughs> doubt it. I, I think he's cruising Chuck E. Cheese, if anything. But um, because of the pizza. The pizza's great, the games are fun, and those costumes, mwah. It's not the company or anything. But anyway, look, uh, if they're if they're doing receipts, which they definitely can, they literally have staff to do the receipts and to log all of that, then maybe. But bear in mind, we're paying for this. They're already very well compensated for their work. They raise tons of money. It just seems crazy that this is another way where they just spend, they don't have to log it. It is good to be in power. When you click the join button and become a tier two member, you get access to all of our weekly top 10 lists. What are you waiting for?